The New Jersey facility where 17 bodies were found receives a $220,000 fine, and nursing and residential care payrolls fell by 113,000 during the pandemic in April. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. One patient at a troubled nursing home in northern New Jersey was found dead in bed 12 hours after falling on a wet floor and suffering from a head injury. Rigor mortis had already set in. The patient had suffered from a high fever for days, but a doctor was never told. Sick residents who were awaiting the results of coronavirus tests shared rooms with healthy residents, and thermometers used to take employees' temperatures at the start of each shift did not work. Those were among the findings of a federal inspection last month of the nursing home Andover Subacute and Rehabilitation Center 2, now the site of one of the largest outbreaks of the virus in New Jersey. The report, released Thursday by CMS, offers the first detailed glimpse into how the pandemic has ravaged nursing homes across the country. The privately owned nursing home was found to have placed its residents in, quote, immediate jeopardy and has been fined $220,000. The median fine by the federal agency over the last three years was only $13,000. The report was released on the same day that members of the National Guard arrived in Andover, New Jersey, to assist at the nursing home, a 543-bed facility that has been chronically short of staff and masks and has over the last two years received poor grades from federal and state inspectors. The last, the, at least 53 of its residents have died since March after testing positive for the virus. An employee at the Andover home said they were told to expect 22 National Guard members whose duties would include cleaning and disinfecting. Over the past week, residents have complained that clothing and bed sheets had also not been washed. The U.S. healthcare industry wasn't immune to the devastating job losses caused by the coronavirus pandemic last month. Even as healthcare workers battled COVID-19 in emergency rooms and intensive care units across the country, the industry saw 1.4 million jobs vanish in April, the Labor Department reported on Friday. That equates to about one of every 12 healthcare jobs. The largest declines were in outpatient settings, such as dental offices, where more than half a million jobs disappeared, roughly half of that workforce. As the virus has spread, many medical offices that deliver routine or elective care have closed as part of social distancing measures to contain the outbreak. The U.S. jobless rate overall has tripled to 14.7% but even providers treating patients vulnerable to the virus were not spared. Hospitals shed 135,000 workers and nursing and residential care payrolls fell by 113,000. Both numbers represent about a 3% decline from a month earlier. Employment and diagnostic labs also shrank by 11% or 31,000 jobs, even as the nation struggled to increase the number of coronavirus tests available. Home health payrolls declined by 6% or 94,000 jobs. Some experts claim the drop-off in demand for health care may persist as long as the virus remains a threat. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.